I want to look at it as a signal that the president is open to listen to a fresh perspective. Two days after Vice President Lenny Robredo accepted the drug czar post, she convened the Interagency Committee on Anti-Illegal Drugs or ICAD. When Vice President Lenny Robredo accepted the job offered by the President, she knows exactly what she wants. She said she doesn't want killings. That's why this is the perfect opportunity for her to communicate that direction. Yung pagpalit ng isang kampanya na mas epektibo pero walang namamatay senselessly. Naniniwala ako na sa lahat ng police operations, anything can happen. Pero yung, yung kinukontra natin, yung pinagpaglanuhan at pagpapatay ng mga walang kamuang mga. Ngayon sa akin, yun yung aking position about it. I feel so strongly about it. Sa so, tingin ko, hindi naman kailangan alisin ang, uh, ang oplantokang in fact, uh, when you define Tokhang, it's just uh, anti-sing drug surrenders to surrender or drug personalities to surrender. Yun lang naman yun eh. Kaya lang kasi uh, binabaluktot yung uh, ibig sabihin ng uh, Oakland Tokhang, Tokhang ng PNP. Binigyang diin ni Robredo ang ilan sa mga nais niyang tahaking direksyon ng ICAD tulad ng pagtukoy sa problema sa droga bilang isang problema ang pangkalusugan. Sabi ni Robredo, kailangan na raw buuin ang isang national anti-drug policy. We should also look at it not just using the lens of crimes or criminal justice, but also using the lens of health and the fact that addiction is a medical and a sociological problem. Giit ng pangalawang Pangulo, hindi siya kontra sa war on drugs ng gobyerno, pero may paalala siya. We feel that we should do things right. Everything that we're doing should be within the bounds of the rule of law. Wala naman ako nakitang uh, sa ngayon dapat i-baguhin. Uh, uh, mas nakita ni siguro ni Vice President yung improvement ng bawat uh, cluster na dapat gawin. Ayon sa datos ng Philippine National Police, umabot na sa 5,779 na buhay ang binawi sa War on Drugs. Mas malaki ang bilang dito ng ilang human rights organizations. Ayon sa bagong talagang drug czar, ito na ang pagkakataon para mapakinggan niya ang perspective ng iba't ibang ahensya at i-assess kung ano ang nag-work na approach ng gobyerno. I'm Anthony Esguera and I stand for truth.